The Do More Simulator is a great way to test your ladder code in a safe environment without the need for hardware. The key thing to using a simulator is to think of it as an actual PLC. Don't think of it as part of the Do More Designer. Let's do a quick example to see how that works. There's a couple different ways to approach starting a simulator project. For this one, we'll treat it just like any other PLC project and click on New Project. We give it a name. Let's call this uh, Sim Test. Choose the Do More Simulator as the destination and say OK. And up pops our blank project. Let's enter a few lines of code. We'll have uh, X0 drive the Y0 output. And let's have an analog input. How about uh, WX0 when he's larger than, oh, let's say 2500, he'll drive output Y3. Let's have contact C0, enable a timer. Great, there's our little project. The yellow bar reminds me I need to accept it. The green bar reminds me I need to save it. Now we connect the project to the simulator just like any other PLC. So we say PLC, connect, we select the simulator link, and up pops our simulator. Let me rearrange some things here so we can see everything at once. It's warning me that the PLC is not in terminal mode, that's okay. And it tries to set the PLC clock, I don't care about that. Do I want to update the system configuration? No. And here we are. Let's move some things around so we can see what's going on here. And that'll get us most of it. Okay. And here we are. So as you can see, the whole process works just like a real PLC. If we drive X0, Y0 lights up. And just like on a real PLC, I can turn on the status for this ladder logic and watch it there also. Let's see, what else do we have? If uh, the analog input WX0 gets greater than 2500, well, here's my analog inputs. I crank that up bigger than 2500, and I'm watching Y3 right here. As soon as it gets bigger than 2500, Y3 turns on. Perfect. Let's see, C0 is controlling this timer here. Well, you can't control C0 from a PLC, right? These are just indicators. You have to do it just like we always do it. Bring up a data view. We want to watch C0. Let me bring that over so we can see it. And we want to be able to change that, so I'll turn on the edit mode. And from here, I can enable C0. C0 turns on and the timer starts running, which I see both here and down here in the simulator. When C0 turns off, timer turns off. So as you can see, the simulator allows you to view and control a sample of pretty much everything in the PLC. So the key is to develop each of your ladder functions to use about this amount of resources. That keeps your code small enough to test in the simulator and also has the side benefit of keeping your code blocks a manageable size. One caveat here, because the simulator is acting like a PLC, we need to control the external inputs here so we can watch the external outputs. Well, what if I want to control the external inputs from within Do More Designer? Can I do that? If I bring up X0 right here and I say I want to turn it off, nothing happens. On, off, nothing happens. Why is that? That's because the external input is being driven by the simulator. If I want to turn that off, I can deselect enable inputs and now this X0 has no effect, but this one does. So keep that in mind. You can control the external inputs here or here, not both. Well, that should be enough to get you going with the Do More Simulator. The bottom line is just treat it like a real PLC and everything will fall into place. Check out the other videos in this series for more ways to get up and running quickly with the Do More PLC. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback. Spend less, do more from Automation Direct.